Hey guys, it's Pragyal and welcome to its son. In this particular episode, we are going to learn about the if statement in Java. If is a conditional branching statement which allows you to do specific action in according to some condition. Now for this tutorial, I have actually made extensive use of the scanner class in Java. So if you haven't watched my previous video on scanner, I will suggest you do that before because it will help you understand better. Now I have imported the scanner and have created an object in with the scanner class. Now to demonstrate what exactly is the if statement used for, I am going to use a variable called the int age. Now age is taken as an input from the user that is why I have written int age equals in dot next int. Now we want to decide using the if else statement whether the person is a baby or an adult. So let's try it out with a simple basic version. If we do not use an if else statement, then there are no conditional branching. As we can see from the compiled results here, even if I put a value 78, it is going to print baby. So now we are going to write a statement. If age is less than 4, then only we will say he is a baby just in case a person is not a baby we are going to write a kid for now now we'll hit the compile now we can see that even though the correct branching has been followed up we still have another statement which should not have been printed so we are going to use the else statement to divert the branch Now we can see that if age is less than 4 then only the baby branch is going to be evaluated else only the kid branch is going to be executed. So if you want to perform some activity with a condition the primary condition should be put in the if statement and then if there are other statements that should be executed regardless of whatever else happens you put it in an else statement. Now let's just try something else. What if we wanted more conditions? We can use an else if statement. So we are going to write else if age is less than 18, we are going to write kid. And we can additionally have our else statement that is if someone's age is actually greater than 18, then we are going to write adult. Now let's compile our program. We'll put our age, let's just say 11, it shows kid. Then we'll try out another one, we'll try 25, it shows adult. So we can see now the proper branching is executed. Now. There may be as many else if statements as you want, so it is not necessary that you can only have once one else if statement. Also, for any if statement, the else if and the else parts are not compulsory. You can directly omit them. Now let's try out some different condition. If age is greater than 1000, this should be considered as an invalid result. No one's age can be greater than 1000, so we'll hit compile and we'll put value 9000 and it shows what and if you have to check the other cases let's just say 46 adult so this is actually working so that will be all for this particular video make sure you do watch the other videos in my java series too if you want to understand java better also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that will help you stay updated on the newer videos as i upload them